What's up YouTube? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kansi Beat. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you guys the secret to having an insane bounce in your drums like Metro Booming. We all know Metro is the GOAT. Metro is one of the greatest producers of all time. There's no room for arguments, you know, so you have to watch till the end of this video. I trust you're going to learn more already from this video. You're going to, you know, take your 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 drums to the next level you're going to add some sauce to your drums so make sure to watch till the end of this video and uh, if you know you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure to go down there like this video and make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get notified for my next video because i'll be dropping a whole lot of new content for you guys on this channel so without wasting much time let's just get to today's video so guys we all know whenever you're listening to a metro booming beat or whenever metro makes this beat you know it has that that secret sauce it has that insane bounce in it that you can only find in the metro booming beat you know i know the different producers have tried to replicate it and you know it's it, it's you know it's, it's fine it's fine but you know whenever you have you listening you're listening to a metro beat you're gonna definitely know this is a metro beat even without the tag you know you're just gonna know this is a metro beat because it has that yeah that iconic um sound so today's video i'm going to show you guys the secret to take your drums to the next level to have that insane bounce you know uh this this is not just you know from the drums there are little components that add up to get that bounce from your melody to your hi-hats your claps your snares your 808 your kicks even perks you know different stuff there are these are you know these are a lot more components that you know add up to create up that bounce so definitely i'm going to show you guys how to do that first off i'm going to start with this um this metro booming uh loop a uh, type loop i got from looper man uh it's 155 bpm definitely going to play for you guys to listen so I'll put it in song mode nice you know uh first off your melody you always have to you know make it bouncy you always have to you know give it some space you don't just want it to be a lot more melody because the drums are going to fill in the the empty spaces in the melody so you have to leave some rooms for the drums in the melody you do not want to get um too crazy too um, crazy melodic with your melody if i may say so or make sure to leave a lot of a lot of space in your melody so the drums can fit in and then before i do anything else i think i'm gonna pitch this uh 200 cents and increase the volume so first of all you want to start with your hi-hat i have this uh AOA mafia hi-hat so, so and what, what you're going to do is you have to shorten your um your hi-hats use the out knob make sure you shorten it and then uh, normalize it like this i think it's good like this then uh, you want to do uh, fill these two steps then uh, you know just to stretch this out duplicate everything to eight bars and then uh it sounds like this You can definitely leave uh, your hi hat at you know fill it, uh, the two steps, everything hitting every time. But since there is a lot more space for me to do my thing to go a little bit crazy on the drums, I think you want to definitely start with the hi hat. So first of all, uh, I think I'll do something like this. Definitely gonna like, put one right here. Then I'll change this to let's do one six step. Then uh, I'm gonna pull one right here, here, here. Uh, then I'll drag this one like this. And then I'll copy this and then uh, drag it. And then. Uh, and then I'll just make this uh, rise like this and then uh, when it comes to your clap uh, first of all what you want to do is 
when the well, Metro does this a uh, whole, it does this you know nine out of ten or maybe eight out of ten times. You know, it has just the clap and then maybe in the part where the kick comes in just to make it a little bit more punchy, he adds in a snare with the clap just to make everything more punchy. So for, I have I have right here uh, the Lex Luger clap and then I have this uh, clap and snare together. So I'm definitely going to put the clap. Then uh, when the the key comes in, the idiot is gonna play. The when the key comes in, the the clap on the snare is gonna play. So I'm gonna use the the clap for now. So guys, uh, I figured I wasn't gonna leave just the clap because there was there wouldn't be any bounce, you know, with just the clap. So I add this the zoom, and then I will add this break sound. So uh, this is just gonna come in um, like this. And then this one is going to come in. You know, sometimes you just have to add more perks if you want to have some bounce in your beats. Mostly at this point right here, this point, this is where you know you want to add your perk, and then maybe. You can do it. Um, you can do it at every bar, but I think I was, I'm just going to do it like this, and uh, it just gives it that that you know the bounce at first. It gives it that first bar, that first bounce, and then this the rim comes in, the rim shot comes in. So you know everything adds up to give you that you know little by little you start you know you're beginning to have in the bounce from the high arts the clap, the snare, the rim, and the perk, you know, everything is already, you know, the beat is already bounced. And then when it comes to the 808, the spins 808 should be your go-to because it's long and then it's punchy and then, it, you know, it's all going to add to the bounce of the beats. I think you can also use the Z 808, but, you know, it depends on, you know, your vibe, but your go-to 808 should be the spins 808 and, you know, we all have the spins 808, everybody has the spins 808. You know, uh, you can go to producer grind to check. You know, I think they have it for free there. You know, go download it if you don't have the spins it. And then these days we all have different versions of the spins. We have the distorted version of spins it. We have the 2K18. We have the 2K19. We have the you know we have different versions. But you should always go to the spins it for your 808 whenever you're making your ma making a metro booming or 21 savage type beat. So first off, you want to do cut itself. Our amount is already checked. And then uh, go to your um, go to your uh, piano roll. And then uh, you want to start laying down your pattern. So first off, I'm gonna look for the key, uh, the the root note of my melody. Oops. I think it's this. Then uh, I'm gonna just mess around with the envelope. And then the kick. Uh, one secret to your to you know drawing your kick pattern in is uh, you don't have to do uh, 
to do every uh, you don't have to make your kick hit every time the 808 hit you can you know uh, make the 808 hit before the kick sometimes or you can do the kick before the 808 so you just have to you know give it a bounce you know the kick you know when it, the kick hits and the 808 hits then, you know, the bounce is just there so you have to you know um uh, you know experiment with it and then look for what way is good so um first off you always have to you know put one right here and then i uh, control b to just copy everything and then paste it and for this part i'll just delete this the clap on the snare combined like this It's just going to add to the punchiness and gives it, it always, uh, it's always give it that insane bounce you're looking for. I'll put this, this crash in here, but then it's just going to come in just once like this and then delete all this and then the, the open hat. And then you know uh the one thing you always need to do is put in your base uh i have this so uh what you need to do is come to uh, come over to the envelope and then do the exact same thing i'm doing and then it says right here the notes uh the base is in c sharp so put it in c sharp right click to put it in c and then uh yeah i uh, think uh, trim it Think that's all and then i just turn the kick and the 808 off then just follow the root mm. notes of the melody like this and just this and bring this one down So guys, uh, since this is a loop, uh, you know, and I'm not adding any other sound to it, I don't want it to be a lot more repetitive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, select everything and uh, come over to the mixer, click on this and Alt R, then click Start to render it out as an audio. And then I'm just going to trim this part to make it fit perfectly, and then. Uh, turn this off and then what i'll do with this is i'll pitch this one uh pitch this up 12 then so it's you know it's just gonna play with uh the first one and then i'll do the same thing again drag it out and then i'm gonna make this one unique and then bring this one down 12 so uh this is so guys uh, this is the i fully arranged the beat all i did was for uh for the the high pitched loop i added uh in the mixer i added reverb and the parameter eq i cut out some highs and some and a lot more lows and then added reverb to make it sound like this And uh, that's basically all I did and I added some breaks like this one right here I did one well, this one right here I did this you know just to make the beats uh, more interesting for whoever is listening to the beats so guys if this video was really helpful to you and really enjoyed watching this video make sure to put on there give this video a thumbs up so other people can get uh, get uh, their own chance of watching this video and taking their drum to the next level I hope this video was really helpful and I hope you learned a thing or two from watching this video because uh, me too, I too, I learn every day. So I try my best to, you know, impact my knowledge into my subscribers. So make sure to help, uh, you know, support me by subscribing and liking my content. Uh, you know, I think uh, that'll be all for today, guys. Thank you guys for the huge support. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I think I'll catch you guys next time. Same channel, 
same everything hey let's go hey you can't see spice that shit up